Hi students, welcome to GSR Mass Academy. Now we are going to discuss about the second bit of exercise 2. Okay, uh, let us see, uh, see the question. Compute the following without using number line. We need to find out the sum of these integers without using number line. In the previous bit, that means in the first bit, we need to find the sum of that uh, given integers with using the number, number line. Now we need to find out sum of these integers of the second bit without using number line for that uh, we already discussed that how to add the integers without using number line okay i already did a video to find the sum of the two integers without using number line if you did not watch it please do watch it then come back to this video that would be better and let us see this uh, first question in the first question we have 7 plus 4 and these two are like integers or unlike integers as these two are like integers so to add like integers what we need to do just we need to add numerical values what is the numerical values of 7 and 4 7 and 4 itself that means absolute value of 7 is 7 absolute value of 4 is 4 and adding them you will get 11 as these two numbers are passed to so answer also is a pass to okay let us see the second question in the second question we have 8 plus of minus 3 now are they like integers or unlike integers these two are unlike integers why means if you see this first number in the first number we have pass to 8 in the second number we have minus 3 that means one is a pass to number one is a negative number that means these two are unlike integers so in order to do the addition of two unlike integers what we need to do we need to take the difference between their numerical values so that means what is the absolute value of 8 pass to 8 is 8 absolute value of minus 3 is 3 itself then take the difference between them difference between them is 5 so answer is 5 but whether we need to take a pass to or negative means you need to observe these absolute values for what integer we, we have greater absolute value for 8 or minus 3 absolute value of 8 is 8 absolute value of minus 3 is pass to 3 so which integer is having greater absolute value in these two given numbers means pass to 8 is having greater absolute value so for this what sign we have pass to so answer also in the pass to for answer also in the pass to suppose if they are given to you for the for the sake of example i am taking that minus 8 suppose minus 8 plus of plus 3 if they have given to you means in this case uh, also we need to take a uh, absolute values of minus 8 and absolute value of 3 absolute value of minus 8 is 8 absolute value of 3 is 3 so as these two are unlike integers take a difference between them is a 5 so 5 is the answer but whether it is a pass to or negative means you need to see that the integer which is having greater absolute value here minus 8 is having greater absolute value so for this what sign we have negative sign this this is having a negative sign so answer also comes in the negative that's why for this question answer is minus 5 but for the given question what is the answer pass to 5 that you need to notice clear better now let us see the third question in the third question what we have we have to find out the sum of a 11 plus 3 we know that these two are past two integers just you add them and write the common sign 11 plus 3 is 14 and common sign is past two okay now let us see the fourth question in the fourth question we have 14 less of minus 6 are they like integers or unlike integers 14 is a past two number minus 6 is a negative number these two are unlike integers so to add unlike integers what we need to take we need to take the difference between their absolute values okay so what is the absolute value of 14 absolute value of 14 is 14 and absolute value of minus 6 is 6 then difference between these two the difference between these two is a uh, 8 so answer is 8 but whether it is pass or negative means you need to see this absolute value which uh, uh, integer is having greater absolute value either 14 or minus 6 yes 14 is having greater absolute value in this case so for 14 what sign we have no sign is mentioned means we need to treat it as a pass so answer also should be in pass to clear better like this we need to do and let us see the fifth question fifth question we have 9 plus of minus 7 9 plus of minus 7 9 plus of minus 7 again these two are like integers or unlike integers these two are again unlike integers these two are 
unlike integer again. So take the absolute values, absolute value of minus 9, absolute value of minus 7 is 7 itself. So take difference between them, difference between them is 2. So answer is 2. But positive or negative means you need to see that which number is having absolute value in this absolute value which is greater than 9. So in the question for 9 what sign we have positive. So answer also in the so, so what is the answer for the fifth question we have answer is plus two okay and let us say the sixth question in the sixth question we have 14 plus of minus 10 14 plus of minus 10 so again these two are like or unlike unlike integers yes why because 14 is the past two term and minus 10 is a negative number so take absolute values so absolute value of 14 is 14 Absolute value of minus 10 is plus 10. Take the difference between them. Difference between them is 4. So answer is 4. And in this great in this absolute values, which is greater than 14 is greater than. So in the given number for 14, what sign we have? Pass 2. So answer is pass 2. Clear now. Let us say this seventh question. Seventh question we have. That is of 13 plus of minus 15. Again. Unlike integer. So take a absolute value of 13. Absolute value of 13 is 13. Absolute value of 15 minus 15 is plus 15. Take a difference. Difference in the sense greater minus smaller. 15 minus 13. That is of 2. So answer is a 2. But past you are negative means that is depends upon this absolute value. Which absolute value is greater? 13 or 15? 15 is greater. So for 15, what sign we have in the question? For 15, we have negative sign so answer is also negative answer also negative clear better like this let us see the next question next question we have 4 plus of minus 4 okay 4 and minus 4 both are added to inverse to each other okay when you add to add to inverse you get a 0 okay next ninth one we have 10 plus of minus 2. 10 plus of minus 2. Here, once you have uh, enough practice, no need to write these absolute values. Directly, you can do these calculations in your mind. So, these two are unlike in cases. So, absolute value of 10 is 10. Absolute value of minus 2 is 2. So, difference between 10 and 2 is 8. And in this, which number is having greater value? 10. So, past 2. So, answer is past 2, 8. Clear better. Let us see the last two problems. That is of 10th one, that is 100 plus of minus 80. 100 plus of minus 80. So, let us try to do these calculations in your mind. Okay, like or unlike, unlike. So, adding means we need to take the subtraction. For unlike integer solution means we need to do the reverse. That means subtraction we need to take. What is the difference between 100 and 80? So, 20. For this, uh, which number is having greater value? 100 or 80? So, for 100 pass to sign, we have so answer is also pass to 20. Okay, and let us say the last question in this bit that is of 11th one we have 225 plus of minus 145. 225 minus 145. So, like or unlike, unlike integers. So, take a difference between these two integers. So, 225 minus 145 and subtracting it, what will get Nana? 80. So answer is what? 225 plus of minus 145 gives you 80. But past you are negative means as we have greater number is 225. For greater number we have past to sign. Answer is also past to 80. So this is how to solve the problems in the second bit without using the number line. Without using the number line. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and like, share, comment.